in this lecture we will going to talk about the combinational logic first we will going to study about the combinational logic and then we will go to the combinational circuit so i am writing ckt okay this is short form for the circuit so let me talk about what are the combinational logics as the name suggests combination okay so that means it is a combination of some logics so what we have studied we have studied about the gates like this we are getting let's say this is a and this is b so i will be getting a a plus b i can have a input like this a b so this can be a dot b and finally i can have a circuit like this a then i have a a bar so these are re representing what these are representing your gates uh, we have got and gates we have got or gates and we have got not and when we are using this gates you have solved the boolean functions you have used the boolean functions in that you have seen that you are getting the mixed term that is the combination of and gates and the or gates that means if we are talking about this what we can say that we have also got the combination of these logics which is known as the and or logic so we are getting the and or logic so when we are combining this and or logic and if we also include this not gate okay whether we are having a b so we can get a b bar here so we can have a logic with this also so you are seeing that if we have some expression let's say f equal to a bar b plus a b bar so what you can see that uh, we have got in this or gate also we have got in this and gate also and we have got in this not gate also this is clear okay till here you can see that this function which i have written right now okay this can be represented as a combinational logic of these gate combination logic of these gated so let's say take an example of an xor gate okay so let's say i have got a input x and input y and my function f i am getting a function f so what will be my output my output will be x into y bar plus x bar into y this will be my output that i can also write it as a x or y xoring this is known as the xoring so we have got the xoring of the gate similarly if i draw the table of this what i can do i can draw a table for this so i can have a value like this here x i can have a y and i have a function f so let me write 0 1 0 1 0 0 1 1 okay and uh, if i write start writing its output so what will be my output so if you can see that this function will be my x y bar plus x bar y okay so if i put this here x here as 0 so my this will be 0 y bar means 1 plus x bar means 1 and y is 0 so what will be my answer my answer will be Zero. Similarly, if I take this one, take x, x is zero, y bar, y bar is here, y is one, y bar will be zero, plus x bar, x bar is one, y is one. What will be my answer? My answer will be one. Similarly, if I take this one, x is one, y bar is one, plus x bar is zero, y is zero. I will be getting a one, and here I will be getting a one. 0 plus 0 1 what i will be getting uh? so from the xor if i talk about the xor what i have observed is that whenever we having a same input when have we and ever we have a same input whatever the input is whether it is 0 0 or whether it is a 1 1 what we are getting we are getting always 0 we are always getting a 0 okay similarly if i talk about this whenever the inputs are same i am getting the output as a okay so this is the one of the xor gate and if i talk about xnor gate so if i draw the xnor gate x nor and stand for the not operation okay x 
if i am writing x not so n stand for the not operation that means whatever the expression you are getting whatever the expression you are getting simply what you have to do you have to invert that operation so to invert that operation what i am using i am using this bubble symbol so what i am using i am using this bubble symbol so what will be my output if this is my x this is my y i will be getting the f so initially what i was getting i was getting the x zoring y it's complete so if i apply this or i can say that i will be getting this x y bar plus x bar y whole bar is it clear if i open this what i will be applying i will be applying a de morgan's law and then what i will get i will be getting the expression which it will be having like this x y plus x bar y okay so i will be getting this f and if i draw this table here x y and f f is equal to my x let me write first 0 1 0 1 0 0 1 1 and if i write my f here my f is equal to x y plus x bar y bar okay so without writing expression x y what is the value of x and y what is the value of x and bar y what i can do that i know that this bubble this bubble is present here will what it will going to do whatever the output i am getting from this x or gate it will going to invert it whatever the output i am getting from the xor gate it will going to invert it okay so what output i was getting at this point i was getting a let's say i can write it here like this i was getting zero so instead of zero what it will going to give it will going to give you one okay and when we are getting this one we will get zero from one we will get zero and from one it will going to give a one so what you have to do is you have to simply copy paste this values okay you have to simply copy paste this value here so what will be the output you will be getting you will be getting the output as 1 0 0 1 is it clear so now what we will be going to see that uh, as we have talk about the and and or logics okay so here you can see that we are talking about the and and or, or logics so if we if we take an example of this so let me take the example same example i will going to see so what we can do we can have a and or logic or we can have a or and logic also okay you are getting my point we can have a and or logic or we can have a or and logic so and will be coming first then or or the or will be coming first and then and is coming so we can have a two types of logics and or logics or the or and logics so let's take an example general example so uh, let's say we have a boolean expression we have got some logic circuit and we have got some boolean expression which is given by the app ab plus c d e some function we have got we are getting the output f equal to ab plus c d e and now if we talk about first term first term is the ab so if we talking about the ab so how ab is been combined the first term is obtained by the and operation okay the so first yes and gate that is means it is been you it is been obtained with the help of a and gate okay and how many input and gate we have got we have got two input and gate okay so if i write here i can say that this will be i am will be getting like this a b and this is my ab okay so i can say this is the ending operation okay so this is been done with the help of a ending so what we are doing we are doing the ending operation a n d i n g we are doing the ending operation similarly if i talk about the second term c d e so what about this okay so we can say that we have got a operation like this here we have got c d e okay and we will going to combine it and we will be getting a function like this and we will be getting c d e again what we can say we are doing the ending operation so what we required we required here 
and get now these two terms if we talk about these two terms how these are been combined or get these are been combined with the help of a or get so what we can say that this operation is being combined with the help of a or get so what i can do i can take this here i can take this here and i can use this operation like this and i can say this is my or operation i am performing is it clear so what expression i will be getting let's say this is my function f okay so the function f i will be getting is the ab plus cde so you can see that what we have done we have used a combination of a circuits combination of a logics so we have used a and logic we have used a or logic and we have combined it okay so this is known as a combination logic this is clear similarly if i take another example x equal to ab okay then i can use a bracket and then cd bar plus ef cd bar plus e f and if i ask you how many and gates are required how many uh, or gates are required in this so what you can see that if we talk about this one first ab we have got ab we required and gate so we required this and gate okay okay then you can see the bracket here so this bracket so for this bracket to multiply this bracket we required and gate is it correct then we come inside we have got cd bar we have got cd bar so for to multiply this also we required and gate then we have got ef for that also we required and gate so and gate is completed then what you can see that we have got a plus sign so plus sign will going to give you or gate and then you can see that we have got this d bar can you see we have got this d bar here so for this what we required we required a not gate so what you can see that we will going to start our logic and how can we start our logic first we required the cd bar so i'm just drawing a circuit so for c let's say this is my c and for d i require d bar okay so i will take a d and i will draw a not gate of it okay and i will take a d from here so this is my c and this is my d okay i can combine this so what i output i will be getting i will be getting a c d bar then we have got e f ef can be simply multiplied so we can have a ef e f okay so we have a ef here then what is happening this cd bar and ef are being these are being added so what we will do we will going to or this so we will be getting here cd bar plus ef is it correct okay then we have got ab so we will take an ab let me take here a and b we will be getting this ab and what is happening this ab is been multiply by this so what i can do i can take this one here and i can multiply it okay so this is my x so you can see that uh, we this is the also the logic combination and uh, what we can see that this circuit which we have drawn we have not minimized it till now we have not minimized any circuit whatever the expression we have got we have used it so what you will going to see that whenever we are talking about this combination circuits which we will going to study about in coming class okay so we have got a combination logic and these combination logics in this combination logics we are using some of the gates to design the circuit so you can see this is one of the circuit if you have got the expression you have got the equivalent circuit for it so what i can say that this is my expression this is my expression and what i can say this is my equivalent circuit so what we will going to study next is that we will going to see some of the universal circuits we will going to study about some of the universal gates so we have got a universal properties okay and as a universal gate what we are using we are using two gates as a universal gate what are universal gates can you tell me yes nand and nor okay so we will be talking about the universal gate we will be talking about the universal gate in the next lecture